Hey everyone, it's me again. Uh, Merry Christmas. Hopefully you guys had a good day. So today's video, well obviously in front of me, I've got a Broma Limited Paragon 3 Rolling Thunder HL scale unit. This is item number 5489, Union Pacific ES44AC, lights, sound, and smoke. So today's going to also be the unboxing and little review over it, and also showing you the operation and uh, some of the nifty features it has, so let's get right to it. Okay, so obviously when you get a model, you always want to take it out of the box. Take that off. Got some paperwork here. Here's your manual. This covers all information. Uh, how to hook up their DC Master analog sound system. If you have a DC power pack, you're running on DC power. And then, of course, as you get throughout the manual, it tells you all the CV variables and such to change if you have a DCC system. For example, I got Digitrax that I'm running and the various sound functions it has. So, um, not to go in depth with the manual because it's also, I think, online. Alright, what else is this? Limited one year warranty and it says to register online. So, that's that. Next up is exploded parts diagram. Okay, and yeah, just explode a parts diagram and it gives you the numbers or what item or what part that is. And then we've got, because this again, like I said, it has a smoke unit. Here's smoke unit information. Speed read through that. So one thing I do want to note, CV237. That's the heater maximum power, and it says note down here that never set it higher than 81. Otherwise, I think you'll melt uh, where that plastic is on the exhaust. So 81 is the max you can go on that heater. And then, Roman Limited, being creative people that they are, choo-choo shoes for your, uh, for the kids. I mean, if I was five years old right now, I'd probably, yeah, I'd probably have some of these, but, you know, <laughs> it's cool. All right. Now, for the main focus. Oh, and I had it upside down. I've already had this out of the package a couple of times, playing with it. So, that's just the top of the smoke vent, or the smoke uh, exhaust vent, so... All right, well, let me go ahead and get this out of here and get the camera readjusted to a different angle so we can take a better look at this model. All right, that's probably a little bit better camera angle. We'll take this out of the sleeve here. And I am gonna say that there are so many videos of this particular engine. I know uh, JLWII2000, James Wright, and several other people have gotten a Broadway Limited Moon review. This is just gonna be, you know, of course, my my version of it probably is not going to be real fancy but, and then I'll put this back on yeah the exhaust stack comes off so you can load the smoke unit out of the back package okay so I'll go on ahead I'm gonna one hand it here so just bear with me first glance of the model I'm like wow this is pretty cool okay So I'm not going to go into overview detail, but I'll point out a few things. So of course, this locomotive is Union Pacific painted into their C45AH. Um, and we'll get to the operation that sounds here in a minute. And smoke too. But I want you guys to just check out this model. I mean, it is just beyond cool. I actually like the PTC antenna array that I got. So, I hope they come out with more of these things. And then they'll probably coax me into getting a Rolling Thunder subwoofer kit. Maybe. Here's the front of it. There we go. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. All right, now here is going to come my favorite part, running and operating it, and it's going to start right now. All right, so now I got it here on my track. 
I got my Digitrack Zephyr on. I'm going to power it up. Okay. And then using my phone throttle, I got the Digitrax LNY so I can be control Wi-Fi control in the throttle. So I'll probably enter in three because I probably didn't change back the address. No. Set. Yes. There it goes. Usually you got to ramp up the uh, throttle to get it started. F0 handles your headlight, which I don't really think you can see it all that well. That's going to tell me that i got to move stuff over here. Zoom in nice and easy. There we go. Alright, you guys can probably see it now. There she is. Alright, cool. So at first you got F0, which is the light. F1 is your bell. There goes the smoke. And as you see, she's already starting to smoke real nice. And, uh, there it is. Oh yeah, she's smoking. Look at that. That's cool. That's F7, I'm jumping ahead. F2 is your horn. Ditch lights flash on this particular model. F3 is copper clack, clank. Turn off the smoke because I don't know if I'm out of smoke yet. F4, I guess that's air compressor. F5, something. All right. I guess F5 was ramped up. Oh, a couple are clack when you uh, move it forward. And then there she goes. Follow it here. Ooh, now it's really starting to smell like smoke fluid. So, I, yeah, see, I do believe the smoke fluid, it, uh, more of it comes out as the locomotive moves. Let me ramp it up here. I think it's just generally to simulate. And put it forward. So that's just pretty much it about the locomotive overall. It's a nice product. I was surprised for Christmas. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. Please like, maybe dislike, comments below. And uh, yeah, so just stay tuned for more, another video here coming up next on my YouTube channel. Take care, guys.